Hi there, I'm Hal Blattman, Medical Director of the Blattman Health and Wellness Center, and I'm here with Dr. T.J. Lonergan, uh, Clinical Director at Impact Health and Spine Centers. And welcome to a demystified day. Happy demystified day. Happy demystified day, and today we want to talk about joint pain, osteoarthritis, maybe from the knee, and how much we hear about my joint is bone on bone and it needs to be replaced, and how often is that really true? What a bummer. What a bummer. And we're, just, we're, we're taught all through our life that we're born with a certain amount of cartilage, we wear it out with time, and then we're done, and we need to get Kaput. a new joint. And I don't think that makes any sense. Don't we grow new skin cells? All the time. And don't we, like, grow new hair? Some of us do. And grow new brain cells? Sure. We replace the lining of our gut every three days. Does it make any sense that we don't grow enough cartilage to restore our biology from daily wear and tear? That's deep. Isn't that? Deep into the center of the joint, Hal. Uh, exactly right. And another thing that's a misconception is this bone and bone idea. If you can still move your joint through the range of motion that you can still move, it is not possible for that joint to be bone on bone you have at least two or three cell layers thickness of cartilage still in that joint for that joint to be able to move. So you're saying I got a chance. You got a chance. And now all you need to do to restore your joint is wear out your cartilage a little more slowly and grow it a little more quickly than your body can do by itself. And another thing that's a common misconception, pain is not what we were taught. And the pain you think is coming from your knee is most likely not coming as much from your joint as you think it is. And it wasn't just your knee that was injured when that cartilage wore out. It was all the fascia that holds you together, holds the muscle and anchors the muscle so that you can make the knee move. And those injuries are much more significant that need to be repaired to make the knee pain go away while you're restoring the cartilage to get the joint to move better. And so it's not just understanding the pinpoint part where those that joint is and those bones are coming together, but how it's interrelating to all the other bones and joints in the body as we're all trying to fight gravity. And while you're restoring the integrity of the cartilage and while you're restoring the integrity of the fascia, you can adjust these joints and that changes some of the pain also because they move differently after an adjustment than they do before. Can you tell us a little about that? Yes, yeah, so we're it comes to a concept called biotensegrity, you know, that we're actually put together uh, like a big circus tent. We got all these muscles, 630 different groups of muscles like big tent ropes and we've got 206 bones like tent poles and we're trying to keep tension across it all for us to be able to stand up against gravity. Right. And everybody's working on everybody else. Now what's different from the circus tent is that in the human body if all that tension is managed correctly then bones never touch each other. They shouldn't touch each other. So if somebody is having, quote unquote, bone on bone, isn't just the problem that the bone is on the bone, there's something wrong with the whole system that it's not creating enough uh, tension to keep the bones apart, which sounds funny, but that's how it runs. That's how it works. Yeah. So if you don't go back and also take a look at that issue of why the fascia, the muscle, and the nerves that dictate how the muscle works along with the fascia, and then how that creates habits over time is puts you into this situation, well, yeah, then it's going to be tough to get out. You know? <clears throat> and then you can just have to you know, go get a mechanical knee. So the bottom line to, for our listener is that just because you've been told by your orthopedic surgeon that you have a bone-on-bone -bone joint, and just because you have pain in that joint does not mean you need to replace that joint. The key for us is, can you still move? If you can take your knee from totally straight and bend it 90 degrees or more, there's a really good chance you can save that joint and not have to replace it and live with metal in your body for the rest of your life, assuming that it works out okay, and sometimes that surgery doesn't work out okay, does it? No, and that one surgery can lead to a second surgery, lead to a third surgery. It's what happens, it's, it is what it is, you know, but, uh, but if you don't have to go down that route, there are a lot of things you can try first because once you cut into the skin, you, you can't know, take that back. It, yeah, then it's a permanent change, and then and then you know then then it's a 
It's as a quasi free for all. And anyone who thinks that all the pain in the knee comes from the knee, think of all the people you know in your life who've had their knee replaced, a total joint replacement, and that knee still hurts, yep. which means the pain cannot be coming just from the knee. And the problem's still there. Exactly. Well, thought for the day, and a happy Demystify Medicine, Hal Blattman, Medical Director of the Blattman Health and Wellness Center, here with Dr. T.J. Lonergan with Impact Health and Spine Centers. And you have a wonderful day.